Hey guys, welcome back. Drip Coach here with Drip and Farm for Poverty, where we don't trust, we verify and operate with integrity and transparency. Today, we're diving into a uh, rehash, I guess, of this Drip X 100 day portfolio update compared to Drip Network. And I got a comment from um, Crypto Jomo, and he said, Coach, do a video on how to play it right. Claim miner, use Ice Bridge to bridge the Pulse Chain, sell half for P Drip and half for another token in the farm and farm it. So at first I said I wasn't going to be doing this because I'm not looking to put in any additional capital and it never dawned on me to sell it at these prices because honestly, you know, I figured uh, just wait for price appreciation. But if the chart continues trending downward, why not then instead sell it? Because in theory, in the future, it'll probably be less and worse. So this actually made sense. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video and test it out. So right now I got, what do I got over here? I don't know, 5 million. I don't even know what that is. Got this amount, which I got a copy paste, figure out what that is. So yeah, $47. So nothing to write home about on this account and i don't think there's anything else left to claim let me see maybe i have some miners to claim uh yeah i can unstake this one one i can add that eight dollars to the share four days dollars so yeah what i'm gonna do unstake this and then use the bridge and look at what's over on the farm. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll pause the video. There's guys in line up. Pop this. Now doing the bridge for the total amount that I have. It went up from whatever it was. 4 million, still 54 bucks. It was like 45, 54 bucks. And like it's already there. Look at the wallet. I don't know the transaction. Yeah, then we figure out what farms are here. You have to sell 50% to farm. So in theory, let's look at what he said here. Started farming miners about a month ago. No, that's not what I want. Uh, app for token in the farm and farm it. So you said compounding daily at H2O back in. So it didn't say which asset, so I'll have to look and see which one has the best liquidity and APR. They all are pretty high. So you got P drip. Actually, it has to be ice. So I've got that. So it will have to be P drip and ice because ice is not linked with anything else. Buy the, buy the take half and buy the ice. I'm sorry, PJ. All right, here we are over on the bridge. So I got here, but it's clicking. Oh, sorry, not on the bridge, we're on both farms. And then it came over to the swap. And now I had to put in the ice contract because we didn't actually see ice over here. So I got the ice contract from the TripX site down here. Uh, no, I, down here, ice. So now we're seeing what the rate is. There we go. So about 11.5 P drip, 55 bucks. So we're gonna, let's just do this. Say 31. 63, 31, so five. That is very close to that. So that's what we're gonna do. It's take a little while to bring this up. So pause it. All right, there we are. Uh, one thing I gotta 
check. I don't know if I actually have uh, the gas token ETH on Pulse. I gotta check that and see. One thing I did want to note, let me see if I can actually disconnect this and show it. Uh, yeah, here. This doesn't work for Rabby. So the main connect wallet up here on the swap tab, which is interesting. I don't understand why they didn't integrate Rabby into Web3 wallet interface here. But uh, I go to swap and they come through here. Oh, that's because this is going through my bad. So this interface is the uh, Pulse Exchange. Not, so they just did a um, uh, an iframe. So my bad. That's why that works like that. Okay. Makes perfect sense. All right. So let's put the Pulse Ice token back in here. Again. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. All right. So find the contract. So remember, all we're really doing is taking half of the um, drip X. Bridge it over into ice, selling half of that ice into the buy P drip. And then we will pair P drip and ice together for the farm. So, and then we'll look and see. So, this is also a, a good litmus test because it's a small amount. It's like $55. So, definitely not going to get rich off of this. But I know the pulse and hex narrative is going to be still pretty big this bull run there is a caveat though i know nobody's talking about this i haven't seen any videos with the new fit 21 act that was signed in by the house the five prong test one of them says that in order for it not to be a security uh the main token on this on the on the chain can't one wallet or one team can't have more than 20 percent of that token and um, I believe Richard Hart has way more than 20% of uh, Pulse Token. We actually look at that later in this video and check and see. But that is going to be an issue. If, if that bill passes, if not, then you know, whatever. But we're used to different FUD from the Alphabet Soup gang in the US. So I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Now here's going to be the question. How do I actually connect my wallet if uh, it does not want to use Betamax or Rabi? That is interesting. Why do they not have Rabi as an option? So I bridged over, but I'm going to have to now import this key into Metamask, which I do not want to do, just to interact with their contract. That is shitty. That is not what I expected. So I don't understand how the dev team let that go because Rabby works on DripX. Disconnect here. Actually, it's not Rabby. It's still going through MetaMask. So something is off on this where it's not selecting the MetaMask browser icon. It wants me to actually install it versus um, using Rabby. Because I have it. MetaMask is use Rabby is banned. Back. Call it refresh Yeah, it's weird. Uh, that really sucks. Do not like that at all. Not sure what's going on because I've enabled P trip three times already, and yet I can't supply. So I do it again here, and then deuce this number. 
Oh, there's already a small. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what it was. We did not like that small additional value. So I went through and approved this like five times. But luckily, the gas fees were cheap. Just kept angering me. That's one thing you got to figure out, man. All these dApps and stuff uh, respond differently. But a lot of times you can just delete the last few digits in a decimal place. And that should work. Getting the actual token ID to show up. Copy it here. Put it in interact to. Let's just see if it shows up. That's all we really care about. Did not finish the transaction. Still oh. here. That be wonderful. Now it's on both. Still pending, interesting enough. So that's going up there. But I didn't check to look and see if it's a V1 or V2 pool. Okay. We'll find out. That's why I make these videos. Learn in real time. You guys get to find out with me. Why this is taking. Crazy. Both supposed to be faster. Okay, that finally went through. I had to go back to Rabi to get the stupid thing to confirm. It was stuck and hanging in MetaMask. And I gotta be honest, I am not enjoying my Pulse journey so far. I don't use Pulse. I know a lot of people swear by it, but um, I was getting hung up here trying to connect with the Rabi wallet. This was just spinning and spinning. I had to go cancel the pending transaction for the MetaMask. Like, it's just been be paying the ass just to chase $55 all the way across to another chain. And that's exactly why I said I didn't feel like doing all this crap to begin with. But nonetheless, here we are doing it for the two. So now I should have that in my wallet because I just saw it go up. Yet and still have a zero balance. This is seriously becoming quite the pain in the ass. There it is, right there, ELP. That is post liquidity pair. So, question is, did I do it on the wrong? Uh, call it V one V two. Quite possibly because. It is not showing up as something in my wallet. Mistake. And I am indeed connected. So. Check this. Check MetaMask. MetaMask should be showing this token as well. address 
So I honestly am not sure what happened. The only thing I can think of is that it was um, B1 pool versus B2. Mm. Which again, this is just not fucking worth it. B1. So what I'm going to do is remove two and see what happens there. This should not be that difficult. I mean, granted, maybe the information's in the chat somewhere. This is exactly the point I'm talking about regarding we want to get into passive income, DeFi, blah, blah, blah. But there's so many hoops you got to jump through. And I really don't want to have a bunch of chains that I'm chasing around. I did that in the last, uh, I guess I got in at the end of the bull run, but um, yeah, the last cycle, and it's just, too much work. I had a spreadsheet that I had to check in every day to figure out where my assets were and what needed to be moved around and all that. And that's just energy wasted to chase narratives and hope to catch a pump. Like, I'm not trying to be in a crypto as a full time job. I have a full time job. So I'm just looking to educate myself on the space, park some assets and earn higher yield than the shitty yield that you get from the banks. Like, that's it. All the other stuff, man, is just waste time when I should be able to use that energy for uh, building my business. So that's why I have been much more hands off cycle, not looking to paste narratives all around. I got to copy paste the damn. Okay, good. So what to say? Nice. So this should be V2. Too. Really strange that they got both these pools and both of them have similar amounts of ice per feeder. And I think I remember back in the day when they made this announcement about thing about which one to use, but obviously I'm not looking at any walkthroughs or anything like that, doing this in real time. So we'll try this again. B2 is selected. And I think I have to delete the suffix as well again. But I think that's only on the supply side. I don't think I need to do it with enabling P-Drip. That's just a contract. This is crazy that it takes like, this long. I thought it would be like much, much faster. I have not really played over on both. Like I missed that cycle, that height with hex. I was like, eh, not jumping into that. Okay, B. Look at it. Now I gotta enable P drip again. This shit is ridiculous. Like, this just makes me not want to do it. But I shouldn't have to go do this multiple times. Alright, looks like that went through. And now the supply option is available. Okay. Are we still on V2? Yes, we are. Why? P-Drip Ice Token. Yes. 0.11% of the pool. Literally just wasted like $5 in gas. <laughs> Coming over to do this. And about an hour worth of errors and issues. Failed to create. Already exists unknown. What the hell is that? See what I mean? Oh my God. I think that was because I double clicked retry. So that one's off. All right, let's wait for it to pop up and say confirmed. I had to install MetaMask, like all that, man. Just like extra hoops to jump through and for what? A couple bucks. There we go. Confirmed. All right. Both those balances dropped. Now let's come to the farm and see if it shows up. Doesn't, there it is. I'm about to say I quit. So note to self, any of you guys watching that want to do this, it's a V2 pool, not V1. There are two pools. Yeah, the max spending cap is fine. Five.
taking that to approve and see what I get. Now, I guess I could have sold ice and then purchased one of these other ones, higher APRs. But the whole point is to use part of that drip exit on farming. That was approving the contract. Now we're going final. Sure. Probably 15 minutes, 25 minutes of you guys watching this content, and even longer because I paused it. We will be here with this state. About $50. So then we will be farming H2O. And then the idea is to take the H2O token, sell it, and repurchase more P drip with it because I should have more ice coming from Drip X. So we will check back in on this. I don't know, a week from now, whenever the next uh, DripX miners come available. I think it's like five days from now. Yeah, in 60. Oh. Done? Make it, yes, stay. Finally, we are done. Jesus Christ, that was a pain in the ass. So, B2 is the pool you need, use the bridge. Uh, MetaMask was the only thing that worked with me. Ravi did not want to register. I don't know if you guys have that same problem, but uh, that was almost enough for me to just say fuck it and give up. But I'm recording the video. You guys can watch it and learn from my mistakes. All right. That's all I got. Smash that HBO special. Help brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, live daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real-world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.